so about Phoenix One, the system that was a precursor to the one that we're really talking mostly about today, um, the way that came about was that we had been doing uh, about five years ago a lot of basic research into how energy efficient can we make integrated circuits. And we demonstrated this in silicon in a few examples, uh, world record sort of efficiencies. Um, but what we realized was that uh, in these sensing type systems that would be the application space for these, for these chips, um, what happens is that in the body or in the environment you're taking readings very infrequently on the time scale of microelectronics. Phoenix One really focused from the ground up. We redesigned or designed that system actually um, for low power standby mode and we achieved this you know, uh, amazing number of 30 picowatts. Um, but when we took a step back then we said, well this is a great start, but now we need to flesh out the system and add a lot of other components to it to really make it into a full on sensing system. And that kind of led to the Phoenix Two system that we, we're presenting uh, now. So in Phoenix Two we wanted to expand our system to make it a more complete system that would be ready for implantation in biomedical or environmental monitoring applications. The first thing that we did is that we switched to a commercial architecture for the microprocessor. And we're using the ARM architecture, which is a provider for many different uh, microprocessor embedded applications. The second thing is that we needed to add power management to this system. The battery voltage is very high, four volts. We need to convert this to a very low voltage, which is the key secret of our low power operation. And then finally, what we needed to do is we wanted to enable perpetual operation. And so we added solar cells to this system. So this gives us nearly perpetual operation. And we can even do this indoors uh, in reasonable lighting conditions. We envision a chip like this with small form factor and long device lifetime enabling a lot of new, exciting applications. It can be used to monitor products as they're shipped to make sure that the temperature and humidity conditions are correct. It can be used to make a small, implantable medical device such that the device doesn't require invasive surgery to implant and also requires less maintenance. It can be used for environmental monitoring and also infrastructure monitoring. So if the device is small enough, it can be mixed into concrete without disrupting a struggle, its structural integrity and then used to monitor vibrations and assess the structural integrity of the building or bridge. Okay, so following the development of the Phoenix 1 and Phoenix 2 chips, we realized that we had addressed power, uh, the power problem in all of the major components in the system. Uh, and to top it all off, we were several orders of magnitude better than the best chips in the market today. And so we realized that it was the right time to start a company. As of January of this year, we founded uh, a company to explore the uh, commercialization of this technology. And we're looking at uh, developing a chip that is about 100 times more energy efficient than the best chips in the market today. We've identified a wide range of markets where the pain of power consumption has really uh, reached a, a peak point, and we expect to be addressing those uh, markets very, very soon.